this video, we're going to be looking at all the things that we can do in the Screencastify editor. So just as a quick reminder, TSC does have Screencastify Premium, which gives us unlimited recording time, as well as an editor. And there have been several updates to the editor recently, and it is a really slick tool and very easy for you to use and very easy for your students to use. So I have a video here from my Screencastify, something that I've already recorded, and I'm just gonna choose Open in Editor at the top. I'm gonna let the video load within Screencastify. And once it does, I can see I've got the video here. And I will say this as somebody who uses Screencastify quite a bit, this video will look a little grainy in your editor right here in the center part. But once you produce that video and you actually save it in your Google Drive, it does not come out grainy. So just uh, as an FYI, I guess, for those of you that are, are using this Screencastify editor. So down at the bottom here is my timeline, and this is my entire video. I am able to uh, kind of zoom into this video if I'd like to. So that means I just want to pinpoint an exact spot. And the way that I do that is over here on the right side, I have a little zoom. And so this is just gonna extend, it's gonna stretch out that timeline so that I'm able to pinpoint certain times within my video. This is really helpful um, if you're going to be adding multiple videos together, you can zoom in and out to be able to edit those videos. So let's look at the tools on the left-hand side. Notice that they're grayed out right now, except for this T one, and we'll get to that in a second. But as soon as I select a clip, so I've now selected this clip and you can see that it's highlighted here. Once I select a clip, now those tools are open. So the first tool I have is cut. This is going to take my video and it's actually going to cut it in the middle. If I want to cut my video on the ends, so the beginning or the end, I can actually do that. I can do that in my editor here, but I can actually do it within this video here before I share. So the same pair of scissors that I see in my editor, I see right here in my preview. And so I'm able to cut out the, the beginning and the end. Now, if I wanna cut out the middle, I do actually have to go into the editor. So I can come in here to my editor and I can cut out. Sometimes when I'm making videos, I need to cut like a section of a video because maybe I messed up or I was looking at something. And so I redid something. I cut and then I find the other spot and I cut again. And then I select that middle piece and I can actually click the trash can or delete on my keyboard. And now that piece has been deleted. And you can see there's a little break here between these two clips. If I were to play this video, there wouldn't actually be a break there. So just keep that in mind. So now let's look at our next tool. The next tool is the crop feature. And I love this feature when I am recording slideshows. So instead of going into present mode for a slideshow, I actually just record my entire screen looking at the slide deck on the side, looking at as if I'm editing it and then I'm able to crop the video later. Let me show you an example of that. So here's a video that I created. It's just a quick math lesson. And during that video, you can kind of see it down here at the bottom. During that video, I am using the drawing tools within Screencastify. So I'm actually annotating. And as I'm going through the lesson, I might be switching back and forth between my tools. So in that bottom, left-hand corner of my video, you see my toolbar, you see my entire, you know, slides editor, you see the slide deck over on the side, but I really just want the students to see this middle part here. So I'm going to open this video in the editor and I'll show you how to crop it. So with this one, I'm able to crop just what I want my students to see. So I'm just drawing a little box around that video. I click done and all that extra stuff on the outside is totally gone. So, and I mentioned this already, it looks a little grainy on the video. I promise it doesn't look like that for students, but it's really nice then to be able to crop that video. So going back to my original video here, again, we had our cutting, so our scissors to actually cut parts of the video out. 
our crop tool cropped the screen that the students would be seeing. The next tool that we have was covered in our five tips for Screencastify, and that is Zoom. So what this allows you to do is actually add a point where it will zoom in for the students. And this is super awesome. This is a new tool. You can, on the right hand side, you can actually change how fast it goes. But once I add that zoom in there, I'm going to press play on this video so we can see what that looks like. During that part, it will zoom in and then it will zoom back out. It's so awesome. I love this for showing, maybe I'm showing a demonstration for parents on where to access something. I can zoom in really close to what I want them to actually click on, and then it will zoom back out for me. So that's that little green zoom icon there. And I can move this around my video if I need to. I can also extend it. Maybe I need it to be there for longer. I'm able to extend that zoom. The last feature and the last thing I can add is text. So I am able to add text titles. Maybe I said something or I referenced something. I always reference emailing the Connected Learning Team. And I want to put a little title on my video about emailing the Connected Learning Team. So I'm going to click Add Text where I want that title to go. And I can say email clteam at tsc.k12.in.us. I am able to change the style of the font if I'd like to. I can also change the color because maybe my video is a particular color and so I want to use white instead of black, something along those lines. I can change the background color. So this one just happens to have like a little white hue with it. I can change, I just have a couple options for text, not a whole lot of options. I would stick to um, some of the basic options that they have there. I can also make it huge. Maybe I really want to um, put something out there for people or I can make it really small and then what I like to do is actually change the position of this so I'm gonna actually throw this down to the bottom and now I have a little flag that shows up so I can see here the text seems it's like like it's a little too dark for me oh and now I completely lost it so let's try this blue that's a little bit better I think I might actually move it over to the side so now that CL team email address will pop up when I play the video. There we go. It pops up. It will last for as long as this flag is, and then it will go away. So if I want it to last longer, I just click and drag that flag. It will end now when my video ends, and then I can at least point things out to people during my video. I don't have to add any. I don't have to do any fancy editing. I'm just adding those text flags in there. The last thing I want to show you in our Screencastify editor is that we can actually add multiple videos together because maybe you you recorded part one of your video and you need to re-record part two. Then I'm going to click this plus button here and I can actually add a clip. I can upload a clip from my Google Drive or if I have it maybe saved on my computer, I'm also able to upload a clip there. So if I upload from my Google Drive, it is going to bring up all of my Screencastify videos, so that's pretty nice. Let's see if I can find a video. Oh, that one's 22 minutes long. <laughs> Here's a three minute one. So I have a video right here. I'm going to click select and it will Oh, it looks like I added, I may have added both videos. <laughs> so I'm going to add, I did add both videos. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I probably don't need both videos. I'm going to delete this one that I added on accident. I can zoom in a little. And now I have my second video and I can do the same kind of editing that I was able to do in my first video. Remember when we spliced our first video, we used our scissors and we created that space there. Let's say that this video that I just added actually needs to go in between those two clips. I can click and drag. Let's try that again. Click and drag the clips to actually rearrange them, which is awesome. And notice that that text flag that I created before stays with the clip that it was originally with. 
So I don't have to worry about that. It's going to stay with that clip. When I'm all done editing, I've cropped what I needed to, I've cut things out, I've added text, zoom, I've added all of my um, extra videos in there, I'm gonna choose export. I always like to save it to my Google Drive, export it to my Google Drive, it's gonna save in my Screencastify folder. And one thing to know is I will still have the original video as well. So I'll still have that original video file and then I'll also have this updated file that has all of my edits in it. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, contact the Connected Learning team.